Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is 12.07 in Honolulu, 6.07 in New York on Wednesday, 20th day of July 2022 and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Today, gold actually broke below 1700 and stayed there on a closing basis. The August contract of gold is currently fixed at $1,694.30. That is a net decline of $16.40. The vast majority of today's decline can be attributed to selling pressure with approximately one-third of the damage directly attributable to dollar strength. The dollar gained 0.35% and is currently fixed at 106.925. We will put up the Kitco Gold Index when we pull up our first chart to show you the distinction between selling pressure in gold and dollar strength, resulting in today's decline. Silver also had a strong decline, giving up about seven tenths of a percent, with the September contract currently fixed at eighteen dollars fifty-eight and a half cents. Recently, dollar strength has been a major component moving gold lower. We can see that over the last couple of months with the dollar down at around 101 a few months ago and then moving to a high on July 14th above 109. That was Thursday of last week. On Friday, Monday, and Tuesday, we saw a substantial decline in dollar value. The dollar ticked up today by 0.35%. So when we look at the Kitco Gold Index, which I have just put up, you can see that normal trading accounts for $10.90 of the decline in gold. And dollar strength actually added another $5.50 of the decline, resulting in a decline of about $16.40. And that had a small but profound impact on the price of gold, taking it below 1700 as it did last week, but closing below 1700 as it currently is. We have gold at $1,693.20. And traders, remember, we do have a limit order to buy at $1,681 which a few days ago seemed highly unlikely that it would be filled, but we are now within striking distance of 1680 in August gold. And traders, as you know, we have long believed that 1700 is a very minor level of technical support, and technical support doesn't have any real strength until about 1680. It's based upon a couple of areas. We are looking at a weekly chart. So the first area is August of last year. The flash crash in a single day took pricing just below $1,680. We had three weeks that occurred in March and April of 2021 in which prices dipped below it but closed above it and then an entire series of weeks in which the price point between 1680 and 1700 acted as a area of technical support and that's why i believe that it is highly possible that we will be able to get our order filled and that all things being equal gold could in fact hold that particular price point because it will be very much an oversold commodity. It has dropped from $2,077 to its current pricing. That is over an 18% drop in the last four months. And even if there's going to be more selling pressure ahead this year, at some point, I believe there will be an upside bounce. I believe there's a high probability that that will occur at around 1680. That's why we have that limit order placed at that price point. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.